I'm Jason Brown. I'm Jimmy T. Ethan Jacobson. And Chris Langley. And we just got done watching A Quiet Place Day 1. If this was Jimmy and I, with the amount of times that we cough and have to clear our throats, we'd been dead a long time ago. Let's roll trailer. On June 28th, how long can you stay quiet? All right, so quiet place. If you, uh, shame on these two, they didn't see the, 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 I guess it wouldn't be prequels because this is the prequel, but they didn't see the previous the second to, to this one. Chris and I did. So I'm going to start off by saying I believe, and Chris, you don't have to see the other two to be able to no. enjoy this movie. No, you don't. No, as a matter of, matter of fact, it might be a little bit more suspenseful if you haven't seen the other two. Yeah. Come out and to watch. I don't this know movie. what the, what right. the conceit is. Right. So obviously, just so the viewers understand, these aliens come from another planet. They don't have senses like uh, sight, but they have auditory, and that's why you have to be quiet because any noise would attract them and uh, you're dead. So uh, I think that's a good summary of the movie. <laughs> and it's scary. Uh, yeah. uh, let's... Uh, Let's start with the. Did you did you like the movie, Jimmy? I really did. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm not a big horror sci-fi person, but you did enjoy this one. Yes. Okay. Uh, I did not enjoy this movie. Okay. Okay. Good. And I did. I loved it. Yeah, I I, I thoroughly enjoyed this story, and I'll come more to that. Um, I know what E's answer is on this one, but I didn't say anything. Yet. Would you watch it again? Oh. I would watch it again. Yes. E, I, maybe I need to watch it again yeah. on the screen, the big <laughs> screen, but I'm but no, I don't think I'd watch it again. Okay. Chris. Oh, yeah. 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 I would definitely watch this once or twice more. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got myself so into the movie that I forgot to even look for Easter egg. Uh, would you buy it? Probably not, but I'm not a horror sci fi guy. Yes. I, I know that about you. E. Next birthday present. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I would buy it. You would buy it? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't, but I definitely going to watch it once or twice more. Yeah. Just because. Uh, for the viewers to know, I've changed up my 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 collection. I'm buying more movies that are heartwarming, like uh, S, uh, Garf. I've already pre-ordered If, by the way, Garfield, and just just movies that when you're having a bad day, you can put on and, and enjoy. Uh, but this is a great movie, and I really want to talk about it. Uh, and I want to I want to get to Chris before you guys. Sorry, you didn't see the other ones, but I really feel that in this movie, despite the fact that they can't really talk, a a, a really wonderful relationship developed between two people mm -hmm. and the character arcs and and it was it was a very heartwarming story that developed out of that a little bit of humor mixed in but it not was. too much yeah but but the heartwarming story yeah. i didn't get that with the other two i don't think no um i think that it it's actually the best of the three so yeah well i think the first one is a completely Different type of movie entirely. Small budget. <laughs> with, 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 uh, they didn't destroy all of New York City. No, they way. did not do that at all. But um, I thought, you know, I, I know that they don't care about the cinematography and stuff, but I really thought that they did a great job with the shots. I thought that there was a lot of um, interesting, like when they're driving by the cemetery at the very beginning, based on what's happening with her and her health. The imagery was was very well done. I like the fact that she turned white <laughs> after the 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 twin towers collapsed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and then she washed it off. Yeah, very quietly. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, give us uh, your thoughts on the movie. It was outstanding. This is a very Hitchcockian movie. Oh, because you most slasher movies you see them turn the guts out, and this one you saw like there's a bad guy that cut. Yeah, and so there's a, there's violence, but mostly it's implied violence. So it's a nice, scary kind of violence. Yeah, definitely not a kind of that you would bring a kid to. No. <laughs> but it is PG thirteen. Is it really? I believe so. Wow, yeah, not, which kind of blows my mind. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. kids are tougher than they used I'd, to be. Or <laughs> I, I, I'm still going to say if you're thir if you're under the age of thirteen, I would not bring your child. Oh. Just just based on the intensity of the movie. Yeah. And all I could think of was Gaza and all the buildings that are, no longer exist. Yeah. I think uh, the, I think the location manager had the easiest job in the on Earth. Yeah. He said New York. What do you do? But that yeah. was a clean up. 
Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I mean, you said that uh, you didn't read Robert. Yeah, yeah, but I really want to get the thoughts. Um, I, you you said you you didn't like it. I would like to know why. Um, I would. I I mean, I you only I don't want to take away from the creativity of the filmmakers because yeah. what they pulled off is amazing. But I was bored. Really? Yes. Okay. All right. But the sound design was awesome. Okay. Had you seen the first two? Oh, two? Uh, no. no, I have not. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. No, but this is this is actually a movie that you can watch as a standalone. So I right. find it interesting that you were bored. But yeah, that's, and, and I don't know fine. if that, that's your perspective. Me personally, just like the day I'm having, Where or yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. But yeah, but yeah, the cat needs to get an Oscar nomination. Oh, yeah. That was the best. Yeah. Oh, they, they, well, there must have been five not cats. One meow. Come it, on, it, guys. Uh, so they, when he was terrible job. When he, really unbelievable. he or she was in the water, I was going. I know. Really? Yeah, that's what I yeah. so did. <laughs> I think it was a different than okay. the cat. So there are some slight unbelievable moments when and the candles happened. were all lit in the church. How did that happen? Yeah, there were a few of those moments. The, no, the, the character arcs were, in fact, amazing. Eric? The story. Wow. And the female act, <laughs> character, yeah. I forget her name. What? The acting was pretty good. Just outstanding. Yeah. Well, the character arc, she had like three all his lost moments. Yeah. He had. He starts out as an all his lost moment. Yeah. So this is really good character arc. And story, there's a story in a horror movie. Yeah. 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 And and there's a couple times where I took a turn where I thought, this is going to be the, the story. And then... This group of people go on in a different direction, and, and you're just kind of like, wait, wait, I thought that was going to be it. So when it actually develops, it is really, really, really good. And I think that one thing that's great about this movie is they didn't, sorry, you're bored. No, 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 no. But, uh, <laughs> they didn't overdo it. I mean, they could have easily made this a two and a half hour movie, but they didn't. It's one hour and 39 minutes. You come in, you get your shock, you get your horror, you get your sci fi, you get your heartwarming and story, your semi. <laughs> Happy ending, and uh, and out you go. Most yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I think mean? from that perspective, they 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 knocked it out of the park. Uh, I literally am going to give this two thumbs up. Give me two thumbs up. Okay, I'll give it a half a thumb up. Half a thumb up. Ooh, here I'll break it. For you. <laughs> and, and, and two from him. Uh, this is uh, co-written by John Krasinski, and uh, he did this that we reviewed earlier this year. And I have to say, um, I believe he's knocking him out of the park. He's written all three of the of the, the um, Quiet Place. Yeah, but he's just getting better and, and better. better and this better was really well written. Any parting thoughts? Keep them quick. I think Nico and Snizzle did a horrible job as Frodo. I oh, just yeah, are just terrible. <laughs> and him and his obscurity. Oh uh, yeah, I think I need to rewatch it. You guys are convincing me that you know I should have been so bored. Yeah, yeah. And I love the cat. I yeah, just, dude, that is just my cat. I was looking for him the whole time. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry for that. <laughs>